Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and the sixth series of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on this channel. It was November 2016 when I started work on my first ever theme park in this game called Volcano Springs. And here I am, four years later, working on my sixth theme park that I've ever built in Planet Coaster. Welcome to Christmas Wonderland. Now, if you haven't guessed already, it's going to have a very festive feel leading up to Christmas. Of course, uh, we're now at the end of October. Uh, episodes are going to be released over the next 10 weeks every Wednesday. So a set day for Planet Coaster that you can all look forward to. And they're going to be very festive. There's going to be a lot of festive music. We're going to be building all these different Christmas attractions and all the theming. And you know what? It's something that I've wanted to do for for a very long time because of course the game came out in 2016 I've never really explored the whole sort of Christmas decorations that you can get in Planet Coaster so let me just sort of tell you about how this series came around so I was thinking well I want to do something in the run up to Christmas this year and utilize um, all of the Christmas theming in the game so then I thought well do I go back to one of my older parks maybe Volcano Springs or the Studios Park or do something like that and go and do a big Christmas overlay and then I thought, no, let's really go to town and actually build a new park. Uh, and then I was thinking, well, maybe I should do something a bit like Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, like a traveling fair, um, you know, that's very temporary and make the whole thing look very temporary, but still utilize all the decorations in the game. And then I thought, well, I went to a park last year in the USA called Holiday World, where it's literally a theme park based on the different holidays, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And I thought, you know what? I could do a full-on Christmas park that it's Christmas 365 days a year and put permanent rides in with a very festive feel and that is exactly what we're going for here so welcome to the start of Christmas Wonderland and like I say it's going to be released over the next 10 weeks there'll be an episode two days before Christmas um, on the Wednesday just before Christmas Day and then there'll also be the final episode um, the week in between Christmas Day and New Year so yes we're sort of building this in real time if you like in the fact that um, you know, we are in the run-up to Christmas and I'm building this Christmas park and I thought, you know what, we've all had a tough year this year and um, with everything that's been going on, I want to make this a real happy, positive place that you can come, um, much like the channel is anyway, but especially this Planet Coaster series in terms of adding the Christmas element into it and in that build-up to Christmas, we're going to have some nice festive music on as you can hear in the background, talk about theme parks, talk about Christmas at theme parks, what events are out there already, um, what I'd like to see in the future from theme parks at Christmas and really sort of go to town with that um, and going off your feedback I know a lot of you wanted a set day for Planet Coaster and um, that's something that I've never really wanted to commit to in the past uh, mainly because um, of going out to a lot of different theme parks and trips obviously this winter um, is going to be very different because travel is very restricted there's a lot of events that aren't taking place this year such as Hyde Park Winter Wonderland and lots of the other events that we cover we'd normally be going to theme parks um, um, in Germany, um, sometimes Spain, France over Christmas. Um, but unfortunately, this year, it's not going to be able to happen because of um, COVID-19. So, um, you know, we're going to sort of leave that there. I'm not going to go in, into the everything that's going on at the moment. I want to keep it all very happy and positive. Um, but yeah, just sort of wanted to give you a bit of an idea, really, as to why um, I've gone for a set day for this one. Um, so yes, every Wednesday, you can look forward to some new theme park gaming action here on Theme Park Worldwide. So yes, here I am then. So you've seen over the past few minutes there, starting work on the entrance area to this park. And I thought, you know what? Christmas. What ride screams Christmas more than anything, or at least to me anyway, it's a good traditional carousel. And that's what I've gone with in the middle just here. So we've got this um, square sort of plaza area um, and we've got the carousel in the middle there. Now, you've got to think this park isn't going to be absolutely huge. It's going to be nowhere near the size of Atlas Adventure Resort. Of course, that was the series that finished about four months ago here on the channel. Um, it's not going to be anywhere near that size. Um, it's not going to be massive spread out themed areas around a lake or anything like that it's all going to be very compact and i'm going to be putting in a lot of rides i'm going to be utilizing a lot of the flat rides that are already available in the game um, but really sort of putting them together so they look really nice
nice and uh, decorated all with the, the permanent Christmas decorations on. Um, like I say, this isn't set up as a, a traveling event. This is something what's here all year round. And I thought that gives me a little bit more options in terms of what rides I can put into here. If I was keeping it as a traveling um, fair, if you like, what's just set up for Christmas, such as Winter Wonderland, yes, we could have still had some big rides. Um, you've got to think, Olympia Looping comes over um, from Germany and, and, and comes over to the UK for Winter Wonderland. Not this year. Um, however, um, you know, it normally does. So we could have had some rides of that sort of size. But then I thought, well, I want to do something a bit bigger. And I came up with a few different theme ideas in my head and thought, well, yeah, let's make it a permanent Christmas park. Now, in terms of the location of this park, uh, I was thinking maybe it's in Laplands or, or something like that because I wanted to go for a snowy uh, terrain for this. I was originally thinking, do we still go for a, like a grass terrain? Uh, and then I thought, no, let's go full on winter wonderland um, with this uh, and have all the snow all around us. So, Along with there being a good selection of rides, there's going to be um, lots of different food outlets, um, restaurants. There's going to be an area, of course, where you can meet the big man himself, Santa Claus. So we're going to do like a Santa's village. I'm thinking about having like a Santa Express train ride, what takes you to meet the man himself. Um, we're going to have like a big gingerbread house. I've got an idea for this whole sort of town, what I'm going to do um, with lots of houses. So it'll actually look like a normal street, um, but that's going to be covered in Christmas lights and you'll get a bit of a preview as to what my idea is for that a little bit later on in this episode when I work on one of these buildings but um, yeah the whole idea down at the entrance here and that you know is to go with this white and blue feel um, going on to make it look really cold and winter wonderland-esque of course with Christmas decorations um, you can kind of you know you can go down two routes can't you you can go full-on tacky in terms of loads of colors everywhere and just filling it with stuff or you can really think about the style of it and the placement and that's what i'm going to do here hence the colors that i'm going for so each of the different areas in this park will have a different sort of color scheme if you like i've got plans for a candy cane lane that of course will be the colors of candy cane so we're looking at um, getting some reds some whites and some greens um in in that area a complete candy cane area um so that's my sort of thinking with this i don't just want to be chucking in Christmas decorations um, left, right and centre. Everything wants to be placed with care and thinking about does it fit in, does it look right? So. Uh, of course, when I'm designing the buildings here as well, I've got to think about uh, the decorations that are going to go onto there. Normally, it's not even thought about, is it? Because I've just done the buildings. It's like with Atlas Adventure. Yes, I could have gone back to that and added Christmas decorations in. Uh, but I thought, no, let's um, really go to town and, and do design these buildings from the start with the decorations on because it's a 365 um, Christmas park. We're also putting snow on the roofs there as well because of course we're in a snowy um, area. That doesn't necessarily mean it would always be snowy here. Um, so this snow, if it was a real theme park, would be fake on the roofs um, just to kind of add to it. Like with the trees, they would be sprayed um, with snow as well. Um, of course in the game, we're just using the, the, the real snow um, scenario so it will always um, have the snow on the ground. However, if this was a real theme park, I want everything to be very authentic and sprayed to look like um, all of the real snow. Now, a big thing with this park will be lighting. In fact, it'll be designed to look great in the day, but at night I want it to be extra magical and lots of different light so this whole entrance is going to have quite a cold feel to it as you can see by adding the blue and white lighting all around here the carousel there's blue um, i'm about to put in a second attraction in just a moment um, which is the ferris wheel there um, that's all going to be blue with blue lighting on as well. Um, instead of going with a very warm and cosy feel at the start and then taking guests out into the, the colder feel areas, I thought let's start off with this very cold, icy start to this theme park. And then as you work your way into it, it'll get a little bit warmer, if you know what I mean. Not in terms of the climate, but in terms of the colours, in terms of the decorations. We'll have a real nice traditional street. I'm kind of thinking a bit like Main Street USA at Christmas at the Disney parks. I'm going to create something like that, but obviously it won't be at the entrance because this is the entrance, but we'll have a, a, a main sort of street area and we're going to put like all the red and gold and orange and purple to make it really warm and uplifting colours um, around that area 
Um, so yeah, it, there's going to be a lot of rides packed in. Um, there's going to be, a, a, you know, I'm not going to have a massive focus on roller coasters here. There is going to be some, but it's not going to be a huge focus. Uh, I want to utilize a lot of the flat rides that are already in the game and color them in and put some really nice Christmas decor around them and just give it that overall festive feel so here we go i will try not to use the words christmas and festive too much but i can't promise that because it's a christmas series um you know it, there is going to be quite a few mentions now the beauty is you can actually go into the settings of planet coaster and you can disable um like scenery collision and that's what i've done here to be able to add the large wreaths and bows there actually onto the ferris wheel and you'll see in just a moment i actually add some theming and decor on the base of the ferris wheel as well this isn't something what you could normally do because um you know it would stop you but if you go into the settings of the game you can disable that scenery collision and it allows you to actually um, add decorations and theming props, signage, lighting, speakers, whatever's available in the game, you can add them on top of things. It's like, um, you're going to see me do that quite a lot in this episode, but uh, even more so when we move into some of the other flat rides that don't look Christmassy at all, but I know that I want them in this park um, because there's quite a lot of flat rides that I've never used um, in this game. Like, of course, I've had a look at them all, um, but I've not like use them in in my park so with this being the sixth park i really want to make use of um, all of these different things now we've also got to think about the climate here as well if you want to be realistic um, in terms of you know it's very cold here there's snow on the ground we've got to think the coasters that we build have got to be designed well um, in terms of for the weather so there might be uh, some i'm thinking some indoor coasters here yes there will be uh, a, a couple of outdoor coasters as well um, but we'll probably design them with quite a lot of covered areas maybe the lift hills will be covered in quite a bit um, that sort of idea um, just to, to fit the the feel of it but uh, this is actually the first time that I've built a park in this game and I've not actually drawn out a layout for the park. Now, every park that I've done before, I've said this in previous episodes in, in the series is what I've done on this channel. I normally get a piece of paper, a pencil and a ruler and I actually just draw out a bit of an idea for how I want the park to look. With this one, I haven't done that at all because it's not going to be split into big themed areas. Yes, there's going to be different avenues, different streets, if you like. Like, yeah, we're going to have like Candy Cane Lane and uh, and this Main Street style area where it's all very warm decorations and shops. But um, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to draw out a, a master plan. I'm just going to sort of go with it because I don't plan on separating these areas up massively with loads of trees and stuff. It'll all be quite close to each other. Um, which is something very different. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to go and draw a massive um, plan out. We'll just kind of um, go with the flow with this one and uh, and see how it looks, really. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, in terms of where I'm working now, uh, the entrance area here, you know, isn't going to be a massive grand entrance. Um, it doesn't need to be. It's not going to be an absolutely huge theme park, this. Um, we're just having the one pathway leading in there through the archways. Um, but yeah, it doesn't need to be anything too big, too grand. It's all going to sort of um, come out in front of you when you head in through that archway. You'll see the carousel in front of you. You'll see the candy canes at the side. And you'll really just get into that festive feel. We wanted quite a quaint entrance um for this one instead of going in two grands like i've done all sorts before I mean, i've done hotels and monorails going through hotels and uh, big train stations none of that uh, at the entrance to this park um it's all very um it's quite a laid back sort of feel that we want to go for very quaint um cute style entrance um and, and that's why we're putting in these candy canes all the way down here so um, again utilizing all of this stuff what's already pre-packaged in the game there's a lot of Christmas theming um, that's already in Planet Coaster. You know me, I don't like to do anything custom in terms of uh, making stuff and, and, and putting it in. I like to use what's available um, already. I think you're a bit more creative like that. You know, using what's actually in the game, it sets some, some limits, sets some challenges sometimes. And in my opinion, Planet Coaster did a great job when it comes to the theming anyway. You don't need to sort of get, uh, create custom items and stuff, in my opinion. As much as people do that and they look great, I would rather do sort of devote my time into using what's already in the game and using it to its best like this snowman here for example let's put his scarf on and get that right there um of course got the coal got the carrot on there uh and yeah we'll put in these sticks as well um for his arms but yeah lots of snowmen and uh, i want to make sure that you know every area doesn't look exactly the same with this which 
you know, normally you think, well, Christmas, you know, there's only so many limits you can do. Uh, however, I'm really going to go for different building styles. With the entrance here, we've gone for the nice wooden um, style buildings. Uh, but in the next area, we might not go for something like that. We might go for something um, completely different. We've got the little stage area there, the carol singers, which I really liked, but thought it didn't look great how they were standing um, on some flooring. So I thought, let's lower that down into the snow so we don't see it. They've got the little light next to them there, the lamp post, uh, and we can have the carol singers um, just, just on there singing as, as people are coming in. Obviously, they'd have a little access route, uh, maybe just a little gate to go out and stand there and greet people coming in, or of course, sing as people leave the park as well. So yeah, I mean, I am open to suggestions as well um, with this part. There is going to be a, some rides along the way as well um, that I'd like you guys to name. Uh, we're going to keep this series interactive. I know you guys like how interactive it is. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have some names coming in. Uh, I know, you know, in terms of what we've got is pretty basic at the moment, just a Ferris wheel and a carousel, but there will be a third ride coming in shortly uh, that I'd like you to name as well. Um, so for the next episode, let's get your names in um, for the carousel, for the Ferris wheel, and also the next ride what's coming in um, that you will see shortly but uh, I'll give you another reminder later on as well but get thinking throughout the episode now get thinking of your names uh, that you'd like to put in for these rides so as you can see just working more on the entrance area just here now we've put in the uh, soldiers just there the nutcrackers they sort of work really well down there at the entrance and uh, along with that as well at the back just putting in some uh, more presents as well just to kind of put it all very festive um, down there at the entrance so of course I've filled in the space over on the left there we've got the food unit there we've got some pizza we've got some fries and milkshakes um, we've got the ferris wheel on the right hand side here now we need to start to fill that in and we need some facilities with this being down here at the main entrance we need some toilets we want a cash machine uh, information booth as well and that's all going to be located in this other wooden building off to the right hand side a uh, completely different style to the one on the other side in terms of um you know the the, the look of this uh, it's going to look very different we're not going to have um as much stuff on there um as, as there is on the other building we're going to go for some more um garlands that are in stars on this one again that are already pre-packaged in the game uh, that i think will work um really well on here and um, putting in all the fencing for a bit of a, uh, a mezzanine, a bit of a balcony um, just out the top there. Again, you know, we're going to be wrapping a lot of garlands and wreaths and that sort of thing around a lot of the fencing um, at this park. Because I want it to have that, you know, that real festive feel to it. I've never really used the snowy terrain before. I mean, I've done a little bit of messing about before, a little bit of playing in the game um, on it, but I've not really used it for anything proper. So it's nice to actually be using the snow terrain there, the snow landscape, just to do something completely different that, uh, yeah, I've never really done before. And um, you can see we've got the toilets installed there. I don't like to put the toilets directly on the outside. I like to kind of hide them away a little bit because I'm not too keen how it just sort of, you just disappear, don't you, into this black space um, when you walk into the toilets there. You know, I like to kind of hide that over to the side, um, you know, because I, I wish there was like a, an automatic door or something on the front there just that opened up just to make it look a bit more realistic because then I put them a little bit further forwards. But uh, yeah, you know, I've just put that a little bit further back um, just so it's hidden a little bit by the building. Um, as you can see there as well, put the cash machine in with a little bit of a base. And now we're going to put the windows on there as well and a door that leads out onto the mezzanine. Uh, probably going to put a couple of Christmas trees on there uh, and some more decorations. But here's the garland. I really like this garland, what uh, Planet Coaster put in with the game. Like I say, it's not a new thing. Um, it's been in the game for years, all of this Christmas stuff, but I've never fully utilised it. So it's really nice to actually finally um, be utilising all this Christmas theming and putting it together. There's the uh, large garland star um, that I like on there. And the good thing with all this Christmas theming and decorations is that you can customize the colors on all of it. You can change the color of the baubles, the Christmas trees, the candy canes, garlands, the lights. Um, so that's the thing with this, you know, we've got a very blue and white theme with 
the entrance area here that all the rides have got that blue and white color scheme very cold like you walk in and feel cold and that is intentional you know you're going to walk into the next area uh, which is going to be this candy cane lane and it's all going to be very um, warm and red and oranges and purples going to you know really nice warm colors um, that you're going to go into and just so that'll be um, coming up so kind of off to the left of the ferris wheel and i'll be starting work on that in episode two of this series and that'll be on next wednesday yeah it's nice to actually have a set day um like i said i've never really wanted to commit to that before because you know things change i'm always out at the parks and always doing something uh, normally over christmas i'm no, not at home loads because i'm out there still visiting parks but this year is going to be really different for all of us so um i thought yeah i can definitely commit to a set day for planet coaster um but there we go we just put in another ride got a nice classic um gone in there got a nice classic skid that we've put in um so yeah that should be a really nice addition um for the park i've not used one of these before um, in a game so it's nice to uh, put it in there I think it fits really well um, actually I remember I would have loved that when I did the vintage park but um, it came later um, it came as part of the Magnificent Rides collection I think it was so uh, that DLC after I'd done the vintage park so yeah that would have been perfect for that um, but yeah, you know, I'm putting a nice custom building around it. Again, you've got to think we're in a really cold climate here. There's got to be a lot of covered over areas and rides. So let's uh, really think about that. Uh, and we've covered this over. I'm actually going to really try and cover quite a lot of the flat rides, even some of the bigger spinning flat rides that I'm going to put in. I'm going to try and build covers. I mean, not for all of them, because I think it looks stupid for some of them. But, um, you know, I'm really going to try and, um, you know, cover over quite a lot of stuff. And, yeah, just have a little bit of a play about and do stuff a little bit different. So as you can see, we've got that white space on there. So I'm adding the garlands in. The good thing with me thinking about Christmas from the off with this uh, means that I've thought about that and thought, right, you know, let's have a white bit so we can put the green garland on top so it really stands out um, with the background. Normally, when I build areas, I don't think at all about what I'd do at Christmas if it was uh, the theme park. Look at Atlas Adventure. Some of them areas, yes, you could do Christmas theming, but it probably wouldn't look as good as how this is going to look because this has been designed to have the decorations in mind from the start. I mean, look at that at night. It's got such a magical feel to it already, hasn't it? All throughout there, the blue and the white lighting. And as you can see now, I'm really going to town with the decorations on the roof just here. And that leads me on to one of my biggest inspirations um, for this, a film, um, The National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. If you want to get in the Christmas spirit, Go and watch that. Of course, after watching a few more videos on Theme Park Worldwide. Um, but yeah, you want to go and check out the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a really good film. Um, it's quite an old film now, but it's got Chevy Chase in there. Really good comedy. Um, a great film that I recommend. And in terms of that, he covers his house in Christmas lights and he literally lines them up, kind of like what I've done on the roof um, just here of this building for the skid. Um, so yeah, you know, go and check it out. It's definitely worth it if you want to get in the Christmas spirit. And you'll see where I get my inspiration from for some of the decorations as well. Um, making it fully customizable inside there as well. We've put the uh, gingerbread men all standing there, the candy canes, the Christmas trees inside. So that's the thing. We want to make all these rides look as festive um, and as Christmassy as possible by adding different things in. So, um, yeah, I'll remind you once again, I need names for these three attractions. Um, so we've got the Ferris wheel, we've got the carousel, and we've got the skid. Not the most exciting of rides to name, um, but these are traditional, you know, I mean, especially the Ferris wheel and the carousel, they're two rides for me that scream Christmas um, you know like Winter Wonderland I love like the carousels they have the carousel bar um, the big wheel of course you know the staple parts of it so I thought that's why we're going with these straight in at the entrance and this isn't going to be an absolutely huge park like I say so it didn't need a full-on entrance street all the way down you know with just buildings on and no rides that i might do at some places like atlas adventure you know the whole um, united kingdom area at the start you'd sort of walk through there um through the england english street um and there was no rise until you turned left or right at the bottom with this i didn't want that because you know it's not going to be a huge park it doesn't need a massive open entrance to deal with the crowds um you know we can sort of um you know go, go with the flow with this and you know think about the areas and the size of them um, you know, the paths don't need to be too big um, to accommodate large crowds um, with this one. So 
in terms of this park, oh, look at it at night, um, the plan is to actually open it shortly to guests and get people in. Uh, you know, probably after episode two, maybe episode three, we'll open up the park, um, get guests in, enjoying it, and then we'll carry on building some more of the areas as well. So um, that is the plan with this one. Now, this is going to be a really nice uh, building that's lit up down at the bottom here. Uh, the signature building, if you like. It's in the middle of this entrance area. Uh, and we're going really to town with the Christmas lights on here. Don't they look so realistic? Like, you call them all white there. They're completely customizable. So we can have them um, in any colors we wanted. You can choose the color of literally each bulb, um, which is fantastic. Um, I think it's four different colors you can pick um, for those. Um, so, yeah, you could do all sorts. But uh, with this, we're keeping it quite you know, like I said, I don't want to go down the tacky route, um, especially not with this area. Um, well, I don't really want to with any of it. I want it all to look uh, classy, um, but different colours brought in in the right places. You know, there will be uh, a section with lots of different colours in, but we want to think about the, the placement for that. You know, I don't just want to chuck it in anywhere. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're lining all the windows, all the edges of the building and the roof there as well with these Christmas lights. And you know what? I think it's all uh, starting to come together. But blimey, 25 minutes have gone like crazy. But I tell you what, I've accomplished quite a lot, I think, for this first episode. Um, yeah, nine more episodes to go. It's weird because I don't normally set a, a target of how many episodes either. It just runs for as long as it runs. But, um, you know, with this, like I say, it's in the run up to Christmas, um, spreading some positivity, some Christmas cheer. Um, let us know your plans for Christmas um, down below in the video comments. Comments. If you've gone and watched the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, let me know as well because it's one of my favourites. I might go and watch that now, actually, um, after I finish recording this for you guys. And of course, I will be back next Wednesday and every Wednesday, of course, across the next nine weeks now, um, with um, another episode for you all to enjoy, leading all the way up through until Christmas week. So, yeah, you know, it's coming on really well, this part. Let me know your thoughts so far. Of course, it's quite hard to judge um, something yet because, you know, we've only just got started and there's still some more finishing touches with this entrance area but you know what i am uh, really pleased with how it's looking so far so let's just have a little bit of a an overview if you like of the area just so that you can uh, see it i mean now they've put all the little uh, lights in on the buildings there and all the snow around just to fill in the gaps we've got a really nice cold and blue feel completely different to what i'm going to be working on in the next uh, area because like i say it's going to be candy cane lane and it's going to be really nice red greens um, and whites down there just to really bring out the candy cane colors there's going to be a couple more rides that we're putting in um, down there in the next episode and uh, yeah it's all going to start coming together but there we go thanks for joining me here at christmas wonderland on theme park worldwide 10 episodes coming up in this action-packed series that i hope that you all very much enjoy but thank you very much for watching and that leaves me with one more thing to say get out there and of course keep on riding see you all in the next episode